And as some businesses reopen, schools have been closing, opening, going virtual back and forth. We're going to get you caught up today as those COVID cases continue to rise. So let's start with Fulton County. The district says third graders at Summit Hill Elementary School will learn from home starting today. Those students will go back to in person learning next Tuesday. That is the 14th. There's a similar situation in Clark County. District administrators say COVID continues to be a challenge in their high schools. As a result, students at four different schools will move to online learning for most of the week. Those schools include Clark Central, Cedar Shoals, Classic City High Schools, and Athens Community Career Academy. Those schools will go virtual for four days per week. Special education students will remain in person and school athletics will go on as normal. During this time, the district plans to deep clean and sanitize all of their schools. Griffin Spalding County Schools need some extra help from parents today to get their kids to class. The district is asking you to drive your child in if you can. School officials say there's a shortage on their bus staffing team and because of that, county schools will transition to virtual learning starting tomorrow. This is expected to last until at least the end of the week. In an effort to protect students, faculty and staff, Atlanta Public Schools will begin mandatory COVID testing today. The district says this testing will happen twice a week for all staff. We're going to have much more on that policy coming up in our next half hour.